We uh, embedded the main feed on our homepage of our intranet and it brought people right into it. Uh, they were looking for a way to communicate. They didn't have that way and so people have jumped onto it. At Cargill, we don't even have administrative control over our machines, but we can download the Yammer desktop app. And so that means that when people start up their computers right at startup, there it is. You didn't have to go anywhere. It's served right up. And then you get those lovely little toast notifications that pop up as well. Just to call your attention to the fact that something concerns you from your group or perhaps a direct message for you. So that's that's just golden. One thing I'm going to go do when I get back is push to get Yammer integrated into our intranet pretty much immediately. All that traditional email, like new employees, events, openings, things like that, we're going to be able to post it down on social media and really get a response from it in a way that people don't reply to email you know, and do a reply all. This is going to be a great way for everybody to interact and uh, get good feedback. We have a SharePoint user group now. That's all of our SharePoint site owners around the world. We also have uh, multiple like photography, recipe, all company news. Our communications group at mar in our marketing department uses that, push out, pushes out all the communication. We also use Yammer groups in local offices. So we have a St. Paul office, we have a London office, and those are for specific areas to be able to communicate what's happening in, in, those, um, in that office. I really love the way National Australia Bank is using its customers as the centre of its Yammer strategy and really looking at how its employees come together to share customer stories, to solve customer problems and really drive that depth of engagement from the edge of the organisation right into the heart of its teams. We use it uh, internally, I'm, I'm on our product development team, we use it as a way to uh, basically push out to our sales team all the updates and the things that we're doing. It's a big way for us to gain uh, information and insights and feedback and requests of things that people want us to do. Um, um, and it's a good place for us to just build as a knowledge base and as, a, as kind of this open forum for people to be able to talk. I love the story they shared about asking employees to share the sixth photo on their phone. Um, they, they had an advertising campaign about the first five photos and asking their employees to talk internally about the sixth and explain the context behind that. It wasn't necessarily a work photo. So we use Yammer internally and it's a huge initiative for us. I'm actually part of our corporate giving committee and one of the things that I really, really liked uh, was an idea of using recognition and praise inside of Yammer as a way to uh, drive charitable giving and to build a community at large. On the one hand, Yammer is an organic tool um, and it will catch fire and it'll stay active and even without a community manager, it can do that. However, I'm just, as a community manager myself, I just see the power of being that nurturer, that gardener, of having campaigns, of reminding people that Yammer is this tool. We get to see you know, great questions being asked across the company. Uh, people don't know who to reach out to and they're able to just ask a question and get answers fairly quickly. So it's been really working for us. Miyama is just a fantastic platform to help them engage their people, um, build new culture around digital ways of working and drive forward in the digital agenda.